Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and today we're going to look at the Chinu, the Japanese tier 5 medium, which I think is one of the hardest tanks to drive. In fact, I think it's easier to learn Japanese than get to grips with this thing. Why? Well, numerous reasons to get to later. This tank actually existed. Um, it was designed in 1943, but due to teething problems, it didn't actually come out until the end of the war in 1944. And about 166 were built. They were built to fight against the Sherman. There is the Chinu in all its glory as you get it in the game. Now the thing was, if this was going to fight against the M4, then Japanese raw materials are lacking at this stage of the war and it would have been annihilated. And there are no actual records of this tank realistically being successful in battle. What about in Blitz? Well, you can see here its damage output is 160, rate of fire is 7 rounds a minute, penetration is 130, armor is not great, speed is okay, rotation not too bad. Let's have a look at these stats in more detail. So you can see here it's got 640 hit points. Its armor is not exactly great. View range not bad. Camo rating around average. DPM is 1128 a minute. Not great. Reload time is a whopping and shocking 8.5 seconds. Penetration, your AP is going to do 130, APCR 160. Damage, you're going to knock out 160 on your AP and 135. Eye end alpha on your APCR. Aim time is just shy of 4 seconds. Gun depression is 10 degrees, elevation 15. Speed, top speed is 38, 16 going backwards, average speed 33. This is not the A tank for the faint hearted. So, this is it in armor inspection. As you can see, it's pretty paper thin. This thing does not have good armor. If I stick it in front of a tank it's going to come across at its tier, then boy! It changes a bit. This is it in front of a KV-1. And look at it. Okay, you can side scrape it a little bit. But other than that, I mean, it's just a big green apple. And that's the problem with this tank. It's got very poor armor coupled with a very long load time coupled with very poor damage in pen. Now, I hadn't been out in this tank for a long time, and I decided it's always been on the drawing board to do a review, along with a few other Japanese tanks. So I dusted it off, and I rolled out in it today. And boy, did I struggle. Um, yeah, okay, I won a fair few games in it, but it is so difficult to drive. It's It looks nippy, but it's not that nippy. The reload is a killer. I mean, eight and a half seconds is just shocking. The penetration isn't fantastic and it's damage I mean you're knocking out 160 top end but look at this I mean this is the thing that kills the tank more than anything and it's the reload and the, the gun is not fantastic at all the armor is not fantastic the engine is not fantastic and you have really got to be careful when you roll out in this thing I tried and I tried to get an ace in this and I just couldn't do it. I mean, it's it's like pulling teeth, to be honest with you. And I really did try. And some, you know, in some games you just get wasted sooner rather than later because your armor is so thin. Other games, you, your reload is just so long that you just don't get there quickly enough and dish out enough damage to did you actually kill anything and that's one of the problems and you'll see that in one of the games i mean it is an issue with this tank other than that i mean it's 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 a tier five medium and well it's not because uh, it's just got so many teething problems with it if any tank is crying out for a buff it's this tank now, i don't know what you're going to do i don't know what you would do to buff it i mean would you change it? I, I would personally lower the reload. Leave the armor as it is, but lower that reload because that reload at eight and a half seconds is just absolutely stupid. And you know, you're not dishing out that much damage to justify such a long reload. And that's what kills this tank, in my opinion. And you know, that's just my opinion. You may have a different opinion. I mean, you may think the Chinu is a fantastically brilliant tank. I don't think it is. I mean, it's a medium. And a medium tank is meant to be sort of, you know, rolling around the battlefield and churning out damage. This thing isn't. And I don't mind it having low damage. I don't mind it having 
enhanced pen. I do mind it having an eight and a half second reload. It's just absolutely pants in my opinion. But it is what it is. And you know, in Wargaming's infinite wisdom, they haven't changed it. It's never it's not been buffed. So we have to live with it. Here I've done what? Six or oh, eight hundred and sixty damage taken two kills, got some nice credits and got a second class for my troubles, which isn't bad in this tank, even though I'm clearly blowing my own trumpet there. Now, going back to the real thing, I can't find any information on this thing ever seeing any action whatsoever. Now all the contemporary reports state that 166 odd were built, they were meant to be used to defend the Ohm Islands, the invasion never came, all of them apart from one were scrapped at some stage or the other. It was produced right up until the end of the war, but as I said I have there is absolutely zero record to show this tank ever saw any combat at all. So if it has, I don't know about it. And it's a good job really, because if the real thing is anything like the thing in Blitz, then it would have struggled on the battlefield, to be perfectly honest with you. Because, I mean, look at it, I mean, you're churning out that reload, which is, <laughs> the damage, like I said, I can deal with the damage. I can, I, I like the gun depression. The mobility is a bit meh. But what I really hate is this reload. And I do hate it, because you get to then have games like this one, whereby you're in a great position, you are commanding the battle, and I don't know where that shot went, <laughs> you're commanding the battle, and you just can't reload quickly enough to kill the enemy. I mean, look at this, I mean, I can make a cup of tea in the time it takes to reload this thing. I mean, it is just absolutely ridiculous. I've it's taken me 16 seconds to do 320 damage and somebody else kills the tank now I've got to get around and let's see if I can kill the T-3485 put one in can I get another one in there maybe 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 I mean come on this is just stupid yay I get him now the VK okay and look at this I'm in a commanding position here put one into the VK there's 155 Wait another eight and a half seconds. Oh my life! I, I could have killed him by now, but I can't because somebody else is going to kill him because my reload is so long. I mean, it's just stupidly long for the amount of damage you're dishing out. And this is why I hate this tank. It's got pants armor and a stupid reload. Maybe I can get the Wolverine. Yeah, I got the Wolverine. Yeah, but now I've got to reload. There's no chance of me getting the SU. I've got to ram in because I'm not going to reload in time. And look at that. I miss another kill. 1,377. Two kills. Nobody, nobody smacked me at all. I get another second class. And this is the problem with the Chi Nu. This is the last game. This is me rolling out about an hour before I did this video on Himmelsdorf. And I was like, yay, finally a supremacy game uh, that maybe, just maybe, I can get a decent medal in because I can cap bases. Because that's one thing this tank is good at and it's not meant to be that, you know, a light medium. It's meant to be a medium heavy, effectively, but it's not. And, you know, this is where it struggles. So I'm, 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 I'm sat there going, oh, I really want to get a good medal. I want to show a good review. Look at that. You can see that I can pen certain parts of the Panzer IV, but a lot of it is red. And this is the other problem with this tank. It does struggle. Oh, I get an uncharacteristic bounce. It sometimes does struggle to pen. And I will highlight that in a moment. And in the end, I just get fed up. The reload is just taking too long. Oh, look at that turret. Fly, fly, turret. It's just so long. And I can't even flank this guy properly because... The, 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 I mean, what do I do? It's like... All right, oh, you've got eight and a half seconds to now plow as many shells as you want into me. Um, simple as that. I need somebody to kill you before you kill me. Unbelievable. This is not a tank you can brawl in. This is not a tank you can front line in. This is a tank that realistically is a very, very far back second line defense. If you try and brawl in this thing or you try and front line this thing, you're going to come on stuck. Now look at this. The gun, you can't snipe. You know, it's just not good enough. I mean, that Kuru, which is also, you know, it's a tier 6 tank. I am going to struggle to pen that Kuru with my standard ammunition. 
no two ways about it. In fact, the only way I'm going to pet that guru is by loading APCR. Which isn't, in fact, APCR. It's premium AP. That's the only way I'm going to pet him. And you'll see that in a moment when I get up close and personal. And this is, again, where the tank struggles. Because if you're in a tier 6 game like this, you're going to struggle, guys, against some of the big tanks. Because the armor is going to make you struggle. And, you know, I've been reading about 6.2 and the updates in 6.2. And this one is in sorely... is deserving a buff on its on its reload and possibly its penetration I don't know about that but definitely its reload this thing is crying out for a buff look at this Kuru I cannot pen any of him look at that I mean that's standard AP I can't do it there's nothing I can pen I've got to switch to APCR and then I can plow in into his lower plate but I'm only doing 130 damage now it's, it's a Kuru he's got like a thousand hit points and I'm churning out 130 every eight and a half seconds what were you thinking, Wargaming? Come on, at least give us a fighting chance in this thing. This is why I think this is probably one of the toughest Tier 5 tanks you can play. And I really believe it's the toughest Tier 5 medium you can play. It's a tricky tank. Anyway, that has been the Chinu. Oh look, I get a first class, 1,213 damage. Only one kill, but I cap two bases. Yay! That's been the Chinu. The Japanese Tier 5 tank in the tech tree. A tank that is notoriously difficult to drive. I've been Fujit. I hope that's been useful. Um, I am planning to do some more Japanese tanks in the mid-tiers. By all means, if you've got any decent replays, send them to me. Fujitsblitz at gmail.com or join my Discord and you can upload your replays there. Be, look, be nice if you could you know, comment, like or even subscribe because that would be fantastic. And until the next time, I will say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.